welcome to Race in Alaska. Come along for a fun day fishing halibut and homer. Stopped in to get bait earlier. We got these this trolling herring, and you can see here they're kind of big. I'm like, wow, those are big ones. And the lady said, yeah, they're bigger than the small ones. So heading over here to the launch, right there. This morning, this, this morning before we left, we dug through the fillet bin and got five gallons of chum. That's gonna be nice. Today we're heading out for a trip for halibut out of Homer, Alaska. And so we're just in the process of launching the boat. It's about 5.30 in the morning. Sign the rope, man. There it goes, there it goes. Look at that. And we're off the run. Trying to run the straps and the GoPro at the same time. It's a cluster. This boat weighs a million pounds. Look at me go. They did so well. Um, I might get some when we get going here, yeah. All right, we're free. That one with the buoys and all the birds on it is a long liner, halibut long liner. I think those birds have something to say, right? Big landing craft there. Everybody's going out at the same time. You know you're doing things kind of at least timing-wise right when everyone else is going out. That's kind of a good sign, really. Coasty boat there. Love the Coasties and Homer. They've saved countless lives down here. And super nice people. Oh, we, look at that, we edged ahead of those guys. Yeah, baby, that's how you do it. Marine dock there. Oh. We're in the process of making the master plan for the day. Guys are making me feel like a slacker here. I don't even have my gear going yet. I didn't even get to the bottom. I didn't get the bottom either. Oh yeah. How big? We got another one. Bikes all the time. Huh? Uh, 
liquids are down to the bottom. I'm going to the bottom. I can't believe it. They're getting it on the way down. Somehow, I haven't got anything, and I won't. Oh, there's nothing. You should try the halibut. <laughs> I was trying to sneak it past all the small ones so I could get to one of those big boys, but I think I was unsuccessful. Yeah, be the small one too. Slide mine past all the small ones, going straight to the bottom. For a big one. That's a good size there. It's gotta be a giant, so I gotta get ready. Get out the shotgun. Although, oh, it's off now. Put the shotgun back away. Dang. I know that was a huge one. Oh. I've been down there for like two minutes and nothing. Well, what's wrong with you? I know it. I'm getting bored. I have the attention span of a nap, anyways. They're really testing me here. <laughs> I'm oh, just moving into the big ones. So all the small ones are afraid of the ones that are that were just drifting into now probably. I bet that's it. Oh, look at that! What happened? No, no, no hook, no spin glow, no nothing. Wow. That was probably like a ten thousand pound halibut. That or shark. That's bizarre. That's weird. But it's a good thing Kevin told me to pull it up and take a look. That's right why you didn't get a bite. It, it could be the reason. Maybe. I mean, we've never caught a little dog fish over here, but no. If I was a fish, I'd want to be caught by me. Are you getting into the big ones now? i got to pump this one in. I 
not good eating. Yeah, they are. People like to eat them. That's what they make uh, fish and chips, fish and chips right? out of. And is it this kind of cod or is it yep. a different kind of cod? Nope, Did. Well, I got a little tiny minnow, piece of bait on here, I think. Or nothing, or something, nothing. Yeah, that was that would have been a keeper, I think, Joe. Yeah, I think so too. Well, I don't know that fish, Joe. That's a fish, but every time I said it, it's not there. Great stuff. Something a little heavier, acts like. Yes. There you go. Try them now. <laughs> Hopefully they're keeper size. Uh, a little heavier. This one's a little bit heavier than this one. Feels like so far. It's not a monster by any stretch. Oh, not too, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> it's a triplet. Hey. Oh yeah, look at this. Kevin. Almost wants to take some line. How you doing? I think mine's a big ass yeah, This is mine's a keeper, I think. Okay. Well, we can lay him out.
Come on, come on, you can do it. Don't be shy. Oh, that's why it was dinking around there. Huh, do we got five? Let's try the oldest trick in the book. I'm gonna pretend like I'm eating. You know that's gonna work. Table is going to be awesome. I'm not wasting this one on a small fish, I'll tell you that right now. It's gonna be a 40 pounder. I'm just gonna belly strip this one and put it back in. Yeah. There's one. Oh! Yeah. yeah, you take some line. All right, I'm lost here, but. but he was taking some line early on. That's a keeper. <laughs> 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 Best looking one we've had on, I think. Oh yeah, he's dragging some line out. Good. See, told you. Yeah, yeah. Binoculars, big pull. Yeah. Well, it, it should have been a four by four, but it um, broke off uh, from serious tainage. You gaffing or me gaffing? No. Get the right twist on it. We're running through the rain there. Train right behind us. We're heading into the water. Well, that was a pretty amazing day. We got a lot of fish today, a lot of action. That's the kind of day you dream about when you come down to go help the fish. So, hey, thanks for tuning in today. And tomorrow, we should be up on the Russian River. So don't forget to check out the Russian River.
how the cheeks. Well, I got in last night from Homer, like midnight. And so it's the next morning I'm getting ready to process my halibut and get them ready to put in the freezer. So this is basically how it's going to go. I'm going to rinse them off. I'm going to cut them up into pieces that'll fit in a vacuum packer bag this big. And then I'm going to use some vinegar water to wipe the seal area down because for sure you're going to get fish, fish slime in there. And then um, go ahead and dry those off so that they can dry before I seal them and then I'll be able to seal them and they'll seal really well. But you need to get that fish slime off if you, if you want them to seal well. And so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that process. Basically, I want these in like dinner sized portions for our family. Those are halibut cheeks. Everybody says those are the best. Whenever I get any wild game of any sort, I always save some for a gentleman who is, I actually, I fish as proxy in the summer. Proxy means if you're over 65 or disabled, somebody else can catch your limit. You can't do that on halibut, but you can do it on lots of other on all salmon and things like that, but I always save some of the best for him because he doesn't get to get out and do this. So there's five perfect ones for him and these little pieces will end up doing like chowder or something out of, which will be fantastic for us. So it's a win-win. Okay, so I have one paper towel and vinegar water on. And then I just wipe the seal of the bag. And then dry it off. Put in the vacuum packer. That's going, I'll just do more. So that's the first one, not a bit of air left in there. Go one milk crate nearly full.